The Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo serves as a vivid example of how a region with forests and inadequate infrastructure has become a sanctuary for rebel groups causing destabilization along the Uganda Diara Congo border. For more than two decades, the UPDF has been relentlessly targeting ADF fighters in the Renzori subregion. Two things that have made it this long, two factors rather. One, their leader, Jamil Mukuru, goes out there. He did uh, finance recruitment. He did get finances from international terrorist organizations. And so, this gave life again to the ADF. Uh, so, hence the resumption of attacks in a the years of 2019, 2020, inside the Congo, and then here. It should be remembered that uh, terrorism simply changes form. Uh, you, you may defeat the terrorists here. Once they have space for recruitment, mm -hmm. then they rejuvenate. And this is what happened with ADF. The third factor is space. The, 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 the fact that uh, Eastern DRC was available for them with a governed area, that gave them space to rebuild. The ADF's first major lightning attack occurred in November 1996, resulting in the death of over 50 people numerous injuries and abductions in Wera and Mpondwe, Lubiriha. In 1998, the ADF targeted Kichwamba Technical College, killing 80 students and injuring many others. It was purposed to deal with the terrorists of ADF. Our people in Eastern DRC and Western Uganda deserve peace. We are busy building this peace. We can only continue to enforce what we have achieved. The population should be vigilant to ensure that the remnants of ADF left in these areas are either, go to, either they surrender or they are destroyed. The first attack on the 31st of November 2021 <coughs> provided a lot of results where the major bases, the major camps of the ADF was destroyed, so many of them killed, so many of them dispersed and scattered in smaller groups and that only gave us the impetus to do even more and throughout that area at that time operation shuja recovered a lot of abductees children women and those who were taken against their will in the in the operation the North Kivu province, bordering Ituri to the north and South Kivu to the south, has been a volatile battleground for rival armed ethnic groups since 1998. The ADF rebels have been infiltrating and wreaking havoc in the Renzori sub-region, invading the UPDF troops and causing mayhem. They have a sense of belonging now to their country, that they have security provided for, and therefore, they can go about their business. Like I, I mentioned earlier, the question of harvesting coffee and cocoa, uh, which the ADF was enjoying, yet these are gardens of the Congolese people. They are very happy. I'm sure they are now earning from cocoa and, and coffee, uh, which are, whose prices have gone up in the, on the international market. So they are very happy with us. In fact, some are saying UPDF should stay. 
Sur ce, les opérations se poursuivent. La opération joint opération inaendelea kama kawaida kati ya jeshi la FRDC na la UPDF kutoka Uganda. President Yoweri Kaguta Museveni has consistently assured the Ugandan people that the ADF will soon be eradicated through joint operations with Congo forces in the eastern DRC. This led to an agreement between the governments of Uganda and the Democratic Republic of Congo for joint military operations against the ADF. The understanding, a memorandum of understanding between the two heads of state President Yoweri Museveni and President Shekedi Felix, which happened way back in 2021. And once the memorandum of understanding, which also included the joint operation with other requirements of military activities between the two countries, the two militaries, eventually the MOU on a joint operation was effected and the operation began way back on the 31st of November 2021. In February 2021, General Mohanga Kayanja assumed command of the Mountain Division in the Renzori subregion, replacing Brigadier General Moses Kwikiriza. In 2021, General Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, the Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces and the President of Uganda, appointed Mohanga to serve as the Commander of Operation Shuja in Eastern DRC. Started uh, operations in Sector 1 because we believed that's where they had the very big camps. Those are Kambia Yua. They call it Kambia Yua, but we call it Kambia Jua in Uganda. Those camps of Abia, those camps of, of uh, those camps of uh, Tondoli, um, that, th those were our first targets. That's where we had to displace them because they were near the border with Uganda. That's where we started from. Destroy command and control of the ADF. Two, liberate the Congolese people who have been displaced. Three, therefore, deter planned attacks against Uganda by the terrorists. According to the guidelines from General Wilson Mbasumbadi, the Chief of Defense Forces, Operation Shuja, carried out jointly by the UPDF and the FADAC Army, is meant to eliminate ADF and Asha in tranquility among communities living along the Uganda Diara Congo border. <laughs> Unlike previous years, the UPDF is now operating in the Democratic Republic of Congo with full consent from both governments. In an effort to eliminate attacks from rebels operating along the Uganda Democratic Republic of Congo, the UPDF and the Congolese Defense Forces launched a joint operation codenamed Operation Shujam on the 30th of November 2021 to flush out ADF rebels from Renzori Mountains and the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo jungles. <laughs> Operation Shuja is a term coiled by uh, Muhozi Kainerugaba. He was the commander of land forces then. He coiled Shuja himself. General uh, Muhozi Kainerugaba is one of our senior commanders, one of our tough, good field commanders. From his wisdom, as a word that means uh, courage, it means Ugandans or any part of the UPDF, the military both in Uganda and in Congo, have to be courage, courageous to, ha to, to handle this operation. One, the Ugandan military were going to an unknown destination. They are going into the jungles that they have never seen. The Congolese themselves, the Congolese military, were also coming into a situation that was not very obvious because this ADF is, a, is an outfit that began in Uganda. Airstrikes and artillery bombardments took place in Ituri and Grand North provinces. Kambi Yayua, one of the camps which were the main base for ADF, was hit on Christmas Eve of 2021, completely taken over by the UPDF and FADAC forces. Again, with the cooperation of the Congolese, our counterparts, the Congolese, we were able to access some of these places that we hitherto didn't know in terms of geographical knowledge. But we were able now to access them, 
deal with the enemy in those areas with minimal uh, casualties, very minimal casualties. If there wasn't this knowledge of the terrain now we acquired from the Congolese counterparts, it would have been very difficult for us to manage. <laughs> The airstrikes marked the beginning of advancement of Uganda People's Defense Forces from the Mountain Division to advance into Eastern Congo through Busunga, Nobil, Uganda border. Cleared the area from areas of uh, areas of Zunguruka, those areas of Vikema, those areas of Maribong, areas of Wakadi, areas of Masin, those areas of Undimo, those areas of uh, Ido. That was our phase two of the operation. Those areas are now cleared. Areas of Tokomeka, Mount Hoyo, many areas where we we found camps where they had been um, hibernating for the last two decades. So we managed to defeat them from those areas and they have moved now east of Eringeti Commander Road towards the Mambasa general areas. The capture of Kambi Yayoyua base Tondoli 1, Tondoli 2, and Medina by the joint forces of the UPDF and FADAC denied ADF freedom to operate, including local recruitment, training, resting, growing food, movement, coordination, communication, and sharing information with ease. The capture of Cambia Yua and the other uh, camps did absolve us. That yes, what we are pursuing was an object, a noble objective, and we have achieved it. The joint forces moved towards northwest direction of Mayangose and attacked the running group of ADF commander one Seka Wanabaka. My predecessor here, Lieutenant General Kayanja Mohanga, almost finished it. We think the UPDF and the FRDC are on the right way, and we are so sure and confident that soon the ADF issue will be a complete case. I think it has been a great message that, uh, that the people of Congo have got. We have also realized that uh, with this joint operation that is manifesting in all these areas in the eastern Congo, especially in Ituri and uh, North Kivu, the population have started coming back. Quietly and consciously, UPDF soldiers maneuvered the thick forest, guns pointing towards the enemy. Operation Shuja 2021 is the joint military operation between the UPDF and FADAC aimed at eliminating the ADF operating on the both sides of the Uganda and the Diara Congo border. Now we had uh, control over the territories they were abandoning. So the freedom of action they had enjoyed before was no more. Three, in this process, our presence in among the Congolese people who uh, were out of the jungles, but now they could see us available wherever uh, they needed us, did give the Congolese confidence that the force we are dealing with actually has not only the intention but even the capacity to deal with their enemy. The ADF has long plagued the region, inflicting widespread atrocities in the eastern parts of Congo and the Renzori sub-region of Uganda. The objective of the UPDF and the DRC is to eliminate the ADF, promote pan-Africanism, support socioeconomic transformation in the eastern DRC and safeguard Uganda's national interests. The presence of ADF rebels in eastern DRC has severely affected cross-border trade. Therefore, securing eastern DRC is a relief for the people of Renzori sub-region. The joint forces have made significant progress, capturing key ADF bases and denying them the freedom to operate and carry out activities such as recruitment, training and communication. Mimi na wawomba, kazi tuendele kufanya namna ilivyo. Tunelewana? 
Kazi tuifanye kwa njia hiyo na roho moja. Muda itafika tutamaliza du hiyo. Tutafanya nini? Tutarudi Uganda. Through airstrikes and artillery bombardments, the UBDF has targeted ADF bases in the Virunga and Ituri forests. The joint operation has led to the naturalization of several ADF rebels, the recovery of war materials, and the rescue of women and children. This is Camp Yayua, where you can see they have abandoned the saucepans, they have abandoned the gumboots, and the other valuable things of, for, for them. Efforts to track down ADF remnants have continued, resulting in the vulnerability of ADF personnel and their eventual capture. Top ADF commanders, including Benjamin Kisoka Raino, have been apprehended and eliminated. <laughs> The success of Operation Shuja is evident in the destruction of numerous ADF camps scattered throughout the eastern DRC. ADF commanders have been put out of action in various sectors. Weapons and ammunition have also been recovered. Most of these fighters are children. They are being targeted because they are easy to be turned into killer machines, to be indoctrinated. Some of these combatants, in only two months, they can confidently pray in Arabic. You can see how um, the work the UPDF and the, the Joint Forces, UPDF and FADAC, have done. Those areas of, uh, the enemy was controlling those areas of Karuruma, he was controlling those areas of Kalingati, controlling areas of, uh, of Kamwanga, those areas of, uh, those areas of, uh, of uh, Gorongo. The enemy was controlling areas of Arungupa, those areas of Loselose. He was control in control of the uh, conference of Rusurube and consulates of Nzurube. He was in control of, of Mamanono, areas of Mamanono, Ndama, Ndoma, up to Nobil at the, at near Bundubujo. Those areas were in, in the hands of the ADF. The population had completely withdrawn from those areas. You can see right from Karuruma to here now in Mukakat where we are, where we started from. Since the beginning of Operation Shuja, a number of ADF commanders have been put out of action. In Sector 3, Uganda People's Defense Forces killed ADF top commander Muralo Feza Seguya. His death weakened the ADF strength because he was the master planner of ADF operations in the entire Mwarika Valley. In the battle in Mwarika, ADF intelligence officer Odeke was also killed in action. The joint forces intensified the operation along River Taliha and killed the ADF commander Rubanzana Hassan. Another joint force operating in Sector 1 killed an ADF commander known as Kasadja and a number of ammunition recovered around River Jerube Rusulubi in Renzori Sector. Uganda's People's Defense Forces operating in Sector 2 put out of action the ADF commander Boaz at Tokomeka in the eastern DRC. You will follow that in Sector 3. There has been a lot of achievement where one commander of the ADF, Muraro, was hit a lot of weapons recovered from him a lot of weapons a lot of rescued abductees were got a force of second mountain battalion and uh, major katiango went and hit part of the families and part of the adf uh, team and uh, kajaju and uh, we killed a bit eight, eight of them and picked a few luggages a, a few properties here and there then again on the 25th of March, a force again that came from the same battalion from Lusulube, from Lose Lose, came forward and hit 22 of them on spot, got four guns, solar panels, a lot of ammunition of both PK and AK-47. And also the next day, we know after that same operation, they got again two more dead bodies, making a total of 22 killed 
with a lot of equipments that have been got. I think it's all about pressure. Uh, the ADF had challenged us due to the vastness of the area, the thickets, but now we have got used to the targets, I mean to the, to, to the situation on ground. Uh, Second Mountain Battalion is one of the first UPDF battalions that crossed to work with the FRDC jointly in the operation. And today we are here in Gadu, deep in the forest, the jungles of Beni, and of course looking at their deployments in uh, Loselose, in Jelube, in Lusulube, vast, vast area. In addition to military operations, the UPDF has been providing civil military services near their forward operation bases, conducting medical outreach to Congolese communities, improving health care access, and developing road infrastructure to support the joint forces, movement, and logistics. The involvement of young people in preventing conflicts, peace-building training, and efforts to strengthen relationships between civilians and the military have been prioritized. Former ADF captives have shared their stories, highlighting the terror they experienced and the importance of dismantling the ADF. Major General Dick Olum is dedicated to ensuring stability in the Renzori subregion and the eastern part of the DRC. Uh, for a long time, the ADF had taken this area as a uh, a playground for them. The general areas from Eringeti to Ndalia to Mambelenga to Otomaber to Ndimo, Ndimo to Ido, Ido to Manzobe, Manzobe up to Kamanda. That has been a playground for the ADF. Why? One, because they had a lot of food. Two, because there was no follow up, serious follow up. But thank God now the joint forces have come around. The joint military operation has yielded visible results with many ADF camps destroyed and the remaining rebels on the run. Our uh, professionalism is grounded on ideological awareness. We understand what our mission this is in this historical mission. The UPDF, along with the FADAC, uh, is determined to end the suffering inflicted by the ADF on civilians in both countries. Support from the people of Uganda and the Democratic Republic of Congo is crucial in denouncing the ADF and denying them resources. To make sure we have a solid force, cohesive force, professional as it approaches its work in order to provide the number one prerequisite for the social economic transformation of this country, which is peace, security, and stability. Because without those, these other things will not happen, because there is the way peace and security affect every aspect of social economic transformation especially those within the Rwenzori regions one security is all about you yourself security is not about me the soldier the police the intelligence services security is about you yourself something that you are not so sure about to report something that you are not so sure about inform and let the security agents get to know about through operation shuja peace and stability are being pursued in the region creating a tranquil and stable environment for the people. We are going to acquire more um, to improve on our intelligence collection and, 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 and I think uh, we shall succeed in uh, whatever we are planning to do. To the people of Uganda I say, I, the, the, the message to them is that uh, um, the ADF, we defeated the ADF in Uganda, we are going to defeat the ADF in, in the Congo, which we have already done anyway, we have defeated the ADF in, in Eastern DRC. And once we achieve our strategic end state of degrading them, their capacity to make war, that will make the end of their disturbances in Uganda, in DRC, and the region. With this joint operation that is manifesting in all these areas in the eastern Congo, especially Nituri and uh, North Kivu, the population have started coming back. 
to the roadsides, the population have started going back to where they had been chased by the ADF. The ADF has been put under a lot of pressure. They don't have anywhere to get food. We have followed them everywhere. The ADF have now started releasing some of the few children that they have been capturing. We have recovered a number, a number of them. I think soon, soon UBC should so, show them to Ugandans, these kids that we have rescued. And all these kids rescued look extremely malnourished, meaning they didn't have anywhere to get food. So we think, yeah, it has been a huge, huge success, and we continue to say soon it will be history.